All right. Good morning for all of you that are here uh, tuning in online. Uh, I believe God you uh, are here to hear the uncompromised word of God. We're having an exciting service this morning. It is exciting. Yeah. I'm believing that, that, that the word of God is going to yes. prevail in all of our lives. We're not going to, say with me, we're not going to walk out of here the way we came. Oh, we're not. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. It's just, we won't because right. we're going to hear the word of God today. Praise yeah. God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Grab your Bibles and let's get into the word of God. We've already had praise and worship here this morning. Hallelujah. The presence of God is amazing. Yes. Praise yeah. God. Yeah. And so in these last days, um, the Bible is very clear that the men's hearts will fail them because of fear. In the last several weeks, I've been getting into the Word of God. I've been, I've been sharing with you how there's four different kinds of soil, and only one produces. Yes. And so we've got all these people drifting into time to Nineveh, and, and 75% don't have what it takes to make overcome. Don't have what it takes to go into the next level of, of being safe. We're going to get into Psalm 91 a little bit today too. We need to, the Bible talks about us standing and a thousand dropping on one side and ten thousand on the other. But it's not just because you combed your hair right that day. It's not because of your lineage. It is because of the Spirit of God and what you have chosen to put inside of you. And how you have chosen to interact with the Spirit of God. I want more of him. I, I, I made it. Uh, I said it on Wednesday. I said my ears got pulled uh, a little bit because I, I keep sharing. Hey, praise the Lord. Get up in the morning. And all of a sudden I'm kind of like, well, you know, it's kind of cold out and stuff like that. And the flesh, the voice of the flesh, we talked about that, speaks loud. You stay another five minutes in bed or whatever. Yeah. And the voice of, of reason, you know, uh, and the body, oh, it's aching a little bit. But I made a determined effort, and I looked at the clock, and it's 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock. i got to get praise the Lord. i got to get prepared for the day. Yes. Because if I'm going to stand in these last days, it's going to be because the entrance of His Word has brought me light. Amen. Amen. Not only is it going to give me direction, not only is it going to be my, uh, the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 4, it is my anchor. In drifting storms, it's going to be my anchor. It's going to be my everything to sustain me, to build me. We covered on that. So I can't be just uh, drifting along and uh, uh, do just normal Christianity, what most people do, which is not going to cause them to overcome. Uh, what causes overcoming is for us to get in the Word of God and get uh, before Him. And the Bible says it this way, hearing, receiving, loving, and obeying it. Hallelujah. It's got to be your life. It's got to be your passion. Yes. It's uh, one of those, well, I, I think about the other day. If I had my, my house was burning, my family's out, everything, I want to make sure I grab this Bible. Yes. I want to make sure. Uh, this one is so valuable to me, and uh, I, I have absorbed the Word of God, and it's more. I'm hungry and thirsty, and I believe you are too. So let's open our Bibles to this morning to the wonderful scripture in Isaiah chapter 40. Verse 28. Hallelujah. Isaiah 40, verse 28. Have you not known? Have you not heard? The everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the earth, ends of the earth, does not faint and nor grow weary. There is no searching of his understanding. Hallelujah. If he doesn't get weary, and uh, he and Jesus, uh, uh, they're the head of the body of Christ, I'm not going to get weary. I'm not going to get weary in well-doing. I'm not going to get weary in these last days when the pressure comes and all these different uh, scenarios are before us. And folks, let's get it now before the scenarios happen and we have to, you know, quickly start digging, quickly start finding an answer for something. Let's get it now because our everlasting God says that in the John chapter 16, verse 33, in this world you're going to have tribulation. Yes. You're not you're not going to be in uh, a tribulation without hope, like the seven year tribulation period. The Bible says in First Thessalonians chapter five, He did not appoint us to this wrath. Praise God. And it goes if you go into Revelations, uh, the church disappears after about the was the seventh or sixth or seventh chapter. No more church mentioned. 
our troubles mentioned. Amen. And so I believe that we're in the arms of Jesus during that time. But either way, either way, yeah. we're going to overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. So our testimony, a few weeks ago, if you were here too, I talked about the kingdom of God. If it's divided, any kingdom will fall. A church will fall. A country will fall. And even all the way, a family will fall. Yes. And then you will fall because you have a kingdom inside. But if your kingdom is fighting against itself, one day you wake up and you're sad and nothing's working out for you, and the other day, oh, okay, I'll get back on. That's a divided kingdom. It's, it's, it's your eye is not single. So we got to get up in the morning, every morning. And I cannot do it for you. I can lead you to the uncompromised word. I can lead you to the truth. But I cannot make you drink. We never get out of us in all week of, oh, I haven't read my Bible. I'm, I'm, oh, the pastor doesn't ask you. Doesn't matter what I think about how much you should be reading your Bible or, or getting before the Word of God. And this thing uh, to uh, wonderful, like I love Daystar and, uh, and some of the wonderful other great programs, building yourself up on your most holy faith. Yes. Yes. Continually. It's you going to your spiritual gym. It's you. Uh, being ready when a bridegroom groom calls and uh, and he says, come on in to those that have had their candles lit. Amen. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. I encourage that for all of you. You wouldn't be here on a, on a day like this here if you're not hungry and thirsty after righteousness. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Yes. Praise God. Hallelujah. And I, I come back tonight if you all want to come back. So. But uh, praise God. So it says, he gives power to the faith. Amen. Yes. He gives power to the faint and weary, and to him who has no might, he increases strength, uh, causing it to multiply and makes it abound. Yes. So again, that is the Lord's response to your uh, putting in the uncompromised word of faith, putting it into your heart. He then supplies the strength. And there's more to it too, that in the next verse it says, uh, even the ye shall faint, or those that think that they can do it on their own, yes. and be weary, and the select young men shall, uh, shall feebly stumble and be exhausted. Yes. Okay, so what do we do, Lord? But those that wait, which boils down to worship yes. for the Lord, and uh, who expect, look for, and hope in Him, shall change and renew their and strength of them and power, their strength and power. They shall lift their wings and mount up close to God as eagles, mounting up to the sun. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint and become tired. And that is a plumb line of his design. That's why he created praise and worship. Amen. That's why, and you see it, I, I shared it on Wednesday, where the army in uh, uh, Chronicles chapter 20 went out before the spears then. It's always been the design, and I based it off uh, Psalm 34 too, where, the, the, where David decided, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise will be continually in my mouth. Which makes for open doors for the Spirit of God to move and give you the strength that you require. So all we do is drawing close to God as we worship, as we praise Him. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah, thank, thank you, Lord. Choose wisely. Yeah, yeah. Choose you. wisely. Yes. Hallelujah. Put on those tapes at home. Yeah. To build yourself up on your most holy faith. Yeah. How do we do that? Preparing yourself. I gave out sheets last week on, on all the different things that I am. More than a conqueror through Him that loved me. I am delivered from the kingdom of darkness. Yeah. God just wants to surround you and pull you back in. He's constantly flirting with you. He's constantly asking you to come back. Always. But you have are entered into newness of life. You have made a decision. You have come before a new covenant that is not based on the old promises of uh, oh, let me go over to um, no I don't want that one. Thank you Lord. Oh, there we go. Thank you, Lord. This is what the Bible says again with praise and worship. It says, we were saying this just the other week, as we come before him in these days, 
It says, uh, though the fig tree, this is, uh, I don't think they gave it to you, Zephaniah, the last chapter, chapter, uh, actually it's Habakkuk, chapter 3, yeah. uh, verse 17, it says, though the fig tree does not blossom, and there be no fruit in the vines, though the product of the olive oil fails, the fields yield, yield no fruit, though the flock be cut off from the field, or a fold, and there be no cattle in the stock, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will exult in his victory in the victorious God of my healing, safety, soundness, deliverance, and security. I'm gonna lift them high. Yes. Though total destruction is all around. Total yes. destruction is coming. Yes. How and we don't you? preach that gloom doctor because gloom is not part of your heritage. Gloom is coming to the planet, yes. not to you. That's right. You yes. overcome by the blood. You overcome. You are more than a conqueror. He will never give you anything harder than you can bear. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Keep that before you. Because people will throw it out there and say, yeah, well, what about this guy in the Bible? What about this guy? There were martyrs, obviously. There were people that went through stuff. But Paul, he went, I mean, if there's one guy that, that went to jail, out of jail, went to jail, out of jail, but he says, he confessed, he says, uh, we speak by the same spirit of faith. Yes. We're overcoming this here. Yes. We're overcoming it. We're not going to stay there. Hallelujah. Seriously, I'm not staying there. Not staying there. Hallelujah. Come on now. I'm not going to stay in that jail cell. I'm not going to stay in my shipwreck. I'm not going to stay in my, he says sometimes he didn't, didn't have food, other times he didn't. And, uh, and Romans chapter 8 talks about that uh, a lot more. Uh, nothing will separate you from the love of God. Thank you. Say nothing. 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 And it talks about everything. You might, you might go throw in a nuclear bomb. Nothing will separate you from the love of God. Thank you. In Christ Jesus. Thank you. All right. Hallelujah. Let me just go there because some of you are looking at me like, um, huh? Acts Romans chapter 8. It says this here. Oh, I love this here. It says, who? Verse 35 the Romans chapter 8. I told Tom, I don't know. Uh, last week I didn't go to my notes at all. And I'm already way up on another side of, of uh, the notes work, which I had uh, prepared. But nothing will separate you. Because there's somebody here that needs to hear this. Who will ever separate us from the love of God? Nobody. Nothing. Shall suffering and affliction and tribulation? No. So people would stop there and say, see, he wants you to live in suffering, tribulation, and affliction. No. no. The love of God will not allow that. He says, yea, though you walk through the valley of Baca, you make it a well, and you come out. You make it a well, and you come back out on the other side. That's in the Psalms. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank yes. you, Lord. Amen. So what does he do? Why does he let you in the valley? Because you're in the world. Yes. That's right. But he knows that his word in you will get you out of the valley. Amen. Thank you. His word in you is all you need. Yes. He trusts you. He puts you in the world yes. and says, my son or my daughter, you know, and he sends you out there and then you have a, the devil comes at you in every direction yes. and he presents a fiery furnace. He presents a whale like he did with Jonah yes. and, and all these different things that happen. But, you know, what happens is dependent on what you put inside of you. Yes. Amen? And the, the wonderful Lord, and we're gonna, I'm going to back this up here with some. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? No one. Okay? What does that all mean? We're going to get that in just a second here. Even as it is written, for thy sake we are put to death all the day long. Yes. We are regarded and counted as sheep for the slaughter. Yes, we are. So the Apostle Paul says every day he's getting threats to be killed. Yes. And as I shared once before, one of my favorite evangelists, he says, when they decided not to shut down uh, the church, they had over 500 death threats yes. to make them be afraid. Because if he gets you being afraid, he's removing you from the Word of God. Yes. But if he cannot get you to fear, then he cannot enter in and kill you. Yes. Yes. And so 500 threats. And so they got very crafty with them saying, what time did you want to come by? You know, what time are you planning this assassination and all that kind of stuff? Nobody ever came. Right. Nobody ever yeah. did anything. 500 plus threats. If you are threatened even once, what's going to happen to you? 
I mean, I get some really bad results of funny things on, online and stuff like that, but that's okay. Yes. That comes with the territory. Yeah, that, right. What's happening is the devil wants us to stop that, and he sends all these fake reports. Uh, right from when we started doing that, they say, uh, we're removing your webpage. Yes. Continually. Every time. Continually. Continually. This is the last time we're removing your page. Yes. And they haven't removed it yet. Amen. And because there's those empty threats, and, yes. and, and we're not going to bow down to that. We're going to go, because I'll tell you what, I've got this week about three or four people going to prayer, uh, people who are looking for churches of, of light, precious faith. That's worth it. Yes, Even it for is. the one guy that goes back to church or the family over here, it's yeah. worth it. And that's just the ones that are commenting and saying, you know, can you find us a church? Or can you, will you pray over us? And, yeah. and uh, you know, so it's, it's wonderful to be able to hook up with more people. Amen. Amen. So again, in the midst of these eager morning conquerors, and gain us a passing victory through him who loved us. I am persuaded. Say with me, I'm persuaded. I am, I am persuaded. God. Persuasion comes on the accumulation of yes. the word of God in your spirit, man. Yes. You got I gotta persuade you. Yeah, you yeah. don't Amen. Amen. Yes. It, just one time won't do. And and you can go to psychology and find out how many times it takes for you to actually be fully persuaded. Quite a few. Yeah, I mean, I would not get into an airline if they were, were saying, you know, these, uh, what were they, the uh, Max 10s uh, or whatever that were crashing, yeah. they were, uh, you, know, you know, the pilots couldn't control them, they go up, down, up, down. If they were saying, look, we, we think this one's working, but, uh, you know, why don't you just try? Come with us for a ride. No, thank you. Until I know, and I'm persuaded that this is safe. I want to see the reports that this thing's been fixed. You know, because they had to put new computers in, it took several years. Yeah. I want to know that the mechanics are working on this here. Um, I know, uh, even right now, there's airlines that are uh, going to. In fact, the guy got the guy got killed because he was an inspector. And so, airlines, yes. you got to pray before you get in that plane. And the Spirit of God says, yes. "Don't go. You don't go." Yes. If you have that rubbing on the inside of you. Because all over there, the Bible says to you, you're going to stand. But you're, it's not going to be done just because you're cute. It's going to be done because you are persuaded with the Word of God. It's going to be done because you go on a daily basis with the Word of God in praise and worship. And you sing and worship before Him and stay in His presence, practicing His presence. We get into that just a second too. It says, For I am persuaded beyond the count, and I'm sure that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor things impending and threatening, nor things to come, nor powers, he covers everything. Even I will you know, nuclear or past, whatever there is that the enemy's trying to throw. Nor height, nor death, nor anything that is in all creation shall be able to separate us. From the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. And that love, you relate it to yourself. That love what is a performing love. It's a doing love. Amen. You can't just say a love, you know, as a, as a church, we can't just say, we love the world without following the commandments of the Lord. Feed them. I was in prison. Did you close me? Did you, did you visit me? Did you, did you saw my knee, but you walked by me. Yes. And so, if God's love, He doesn't just sit in the banishers of heaven and say, "Guys, I love you," while we're getting annihilated. No, He doesn't. He wants everybody safe. And again, I can't answer for somebody said, "Well, they 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 got killed, or this happened." I can't answer that other than the fact that I know there was a battalion from Canada that went into the war, the Second World War, and they had some ninety ones which you read every day yes. and every single one of them returned Amen. 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 Jesus. Yeah. I, I, I want to caution on that I can't answer why Joey died and, and this happened and all that kind of stuff all I know is I don't know them other than the word tells me he's never going to separate from me Praise God. he's never able to separate Praise love will not allow them Love would not allow me to sit by and watch a, a vicious dog attack one of my grandchildren. No. Or that drowning in the pool saying, well, 
Slim, you were, or, well, maybe you weren't supposed to be there. How come you disobeyed your pain? You're like, oh, no, no, love will not allow that. Love, the love of God was a shed abroad in my heart by the Holy Spirit who would act on helping my family. Yes. Amen. Yes. So yes. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So prepare for the times that we are getting into. Yes. Yes. Prepare. Hallelujah. And don't say back to why doesn't see anything happening anymore. It's happening. Um, it's, things are happening right now. Yeah. You just don't have enough news. I would some, I recommend the Victory News Channel. They block the American news. They don't want you to hear that. That's right. They don't want you to see a lot of stuff. And so go to the Victory News. Go to outside sources if you need to. Go on uh, YouTube, but uh, there's enough information still trickling through that uh, got the information that, that you can see. It's going along exactly with the Bible. Yeah. Jesus Hallelujah. is coming. Thank you, Lord. Jesus is coming. Thank you, Lord. And so in Psalm 91. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Nothing will separate you from the love of God. Nothing will take you away. But it's he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High. He is the one that shall remain stable. Yes. And fixed under the, shadow. under the shadow. Not beside the shadow. Not around the shadow. Under the shadow of the Almighty. Yes. Again, this is my personal Bible. I will, by my choice, be under the shadow of the Almighty. Yes. I will fight through the pain. Yes. Get away from it fear. Get away from all those things that distract, the Bible says. There is things in Hebrews chapter 12. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith. Yes. Looking unto Jesus. Looking away, the Amplified says, from everything that distracts right now. Yes. Yes. Amen. Can I know about it? Yes. But looking away from that and saying, Jesus, I see the river Euphrates has dried right up. Yeah. I understand a, a two million man army needed that to dry up so they can walk on dry ground. I understand four angels were that were summoned underneath there have been released into this world. And this there's going to be a, a, a killing of the fish. There's going to be all these different things going on. There's going to be forest fires and things that these four angels... Where are we getting this from, the Revelation? That's right. They have something, there, and we're there. We've already crossed that. Yes. I'm sure CTV News or CBC is not going to tell you about that. No, they don't. But we are there, yes. and it's for us today, and to find out, and to praise God, but not, oh my goodness, the river right up. But we say, thank you, Jesus, your word is true. Hallelujah. It is one day closer to the coming of the Lord. And though I see these things, though I see the fish dying, though I see the forest burning, Father God, I'm under the shadow of the Almighty. Yes. And you, Lord, will have my, my, uh, my confidence. Amen? Hallelujah. And so that's what the shadow is. It's that place on a, a daily basis. He involves in that secret place. Is and, and you know, Paul called it his closet. And, and he prayed more in tongues than anybody. But it's that secret place that only you can enter on a daily basis. What does it look like? It looks like a place where you and God meet. It looks like a place where all the different thoughts. All the Bible says pulling down a stronghold and every thought that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Yes. Pull them down. It's a pulling down room. It's a room where you're building up yourself on your most holy faith. Yeah. Every morning. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's why I'm telling you, I cannot do it for you. I cannot put you in that room. I cannot get you to praise. But I want to. I, you know, if, if we spend a few more hours, if we had this room longer, and we spend time praising, great. We can do that together. But you've got to lift yourself up. Yeah, Just like Gideon, he was there in the wine press. He was sitting there, and nothing was working out. No. You know the story of Gideon. And he's there, and he's depressed. He's, uh, he, the angel speaks to him and says, get up, my man. He says, no. We're the weakest tribe. Yeah. Maybe you think of that of yourself. Yeah. No, we're weak. And see, see, every time we plant all these 
Midianites and all these people come against us. Yes. So see, in the, from the Word of God, you extract what what they went through. We're not having our crops stolen yet. Well, yes, we are. Yes, we they're, are. They're in our food stores. They're yes, taking. Are. They, I read the other day chicken wings. Um, this one restaurant said it cost forty-five bucks a box a few years ago. Now it's hundred seventy-five bucks. Yes. Wow. Yeah. For the same box. And so, so you know, like Pac-Man, they're coming along and they're nibbling, nibbling, nibbling. Yes. But they're going to bounce off you and me. Praise yes. God. Because God has not announced his recipe for uh, the Raven Express. That's to bring right. you food if need be. Yes. He's going to show you it. He's going to lead you into all truth. He's going to guide you. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. He promises. Thank you. But it's a secret place that gets us up in the morning. And we fix our attention, and we're under that shadow of protection. Even before you go in your in your vehicle, you got to know that, that you are in the secret place of the Most High. Yes. yes. Get up five minutes earlier, ten minutes. Start praising the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Nobody is guaranteed the next day. Yes. For the next minute. Nobody is preparing himself in a suit that they're going to be using, you know, at the uh, crematorium or whatever, the cemetery. You know, I'm all dressed, ready to go. No, it hits by surprise. Except as a believer, we're going to be shown things to come. Yes. Hallelujah. And we're going to avoid this trouble. So thank you, Lord. I want to press into that secret. I like what Gloria Colton said. She said, I get up in the morning. I know I just do it too. And I get in the Word of God. I get it before God. We worship the Lord. Brother Kenneth says it too. We worship. We spend time and do that. He says it gets you out of the doctor's office and the lawyer's office. Yes, yes it does. And all the other trials. Yes. Hallelujah. Um, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise Jesus. That's the best guarantee I can give you. All right, what happens if we, we do that, time, that, that situation before the Lord? It says, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, on Him I lean and rely, and on Him I confidently trust. Yes. There is, uh, again, the building yourself up on your most holy yes. faith that you can confidently trust in your Lord. Thank you, Lord. All of these verses, what I'm seeing constantly is, it is not the casual observer, but the soul note, the one that has spent the time, yes. the one that stays before the Lord, you know, there's, there's a time when the apostle uh, Jesus uh, stood on the Mount of Transfiguration. And he took with him three people, Peter, James, and John, right? Did he? Uh, yes. yes. The Mount of Transfiguration. And, and they were standing there. Yes. Not the Old Testament, the Mount of Transfiguration. And they were there, and he, he started glowing. They said, Lord, you know, should we build some tents? Should we do something? And they were, they were um, um, basically uh, in awe of the Lord. And I, I just know by the Spirit of God, he could have had 12 guys up there. He could have had, I guarantee you, the Lord yeah. never said to his 12 disciples, including Judas, who had a ministry of healing, yeah. along with Jesus, until the day Satan entered his heart. Yeah. Until the day he forgot to get up and worship the Lord. Yeah. Until the day his song stopped. Amen. Until the day he didn't read anymore. Yes. And Satan entered in. That was not just, uh, uh, you know, I guarantee you that devil didn't care if it was, was uh, Andrew or uh, Bartholomew or whoever. He would have entered anybody. Yes. Right. He needed an open door to get in there to Judas. And uh, the Bible says Satan entered him. He cannot enter. The Bible promises me that when the house is swept, yes. when we come to Jesus, the house is swept. Yes. The demon goes around looking where he can work. You know, oh, oh, I'll go back to that house that's swept. I'm going to go and bring my buddies. Yes. That's why the Bible says you put the Word of God in there. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So I can say with authority that 12 of them could have gone up to that mountain and seen that. I can get, I guarantee you, before I call you, they were like, no, 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 I don't, even, no, you, I, I don't want you guys to come. It is where they were walking spiritually that brought the end result of how much they got from God. Yes. 
You don't have to be the outer circle. You can be the inner circle. There's other times when Jesus healed. He said, okay, I only want these disciples coming with me. Yeah. Why not all? Because of their unbelief. Yeah. Or with the state of their spirit. I only want the ones that are working with me. I only want the ones that would believe me. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. And what else did he have to do? When the damsel was lying there, he had to throw the whole, all of them out of the room. Yes, he did. Why? Because they were laughing at him. Oh, oh, oh you believe God's going to go. Are you believing that you can heal this person? I mean, authority in the Word of God. And we've had that at Victory Life. We're going to have more. Yes. In fact, seeing us at home with a new baby. Praise right. God. Yeah. If you didn't know that, seeing could not get pregnant. That's right. But the word was spoken over her. The prayer was made. See, yes, yes, baby. Yes. Hallelujah. I want more of that. Yes. Revival yes. time. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. Thank you, Lord. People that are hot and desires to be here, to work with us, to bring people, to pray, and to, you know, just, just mouth and eye. Yes, That's it right. is. It is. Today's the day. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. We want to clean up the house of those that that did not believe or unbelief so that we can bring people in so we can see signs, wonders, and miracles. Yes. I know that I'm expecting, if I go down to these meetings here, I'm expect, I'm, I'm going to put my faith out that, that, that I'm spoken up with people of light, precious faith, and that we're going to come and, and uh, there's going to be just a change even more in my life. Yes. It's always from glory to glory. It's not, oh, by the way, I'm the pastor, I've arrived, and you guys just, uh, no, no. I realize I want to pull closer. I want to get hotter and more excited about the things of God. I want to spend more time in the secret place of the most high. I want to, I, you know, like, seriously, this is too good to pass up. The glorious gospel, this new life in Christ Jesus is too good to just play church once, in, uh, you know, a week for 1.5 hours. Hallelujah. Go through you at home, too. Yes. Hallelujah. As trouble is coming, but we're going to be the ones standing. Amen. He will say to the Lord, we can go to a confession message of, you know, he's proclaiming and laying it out. For then, verse 4, 3, I will deliver you for, again, I circled it in red. For then, when, after I say of the Lord, after I spend time in the secret place, verse 3, for then, he will deliver you from the snare of the power and from the deadly pestilence. Then he will. Hallelujah. And he will cover you with his pinions and under his wings shall you trust and find refuge. His, back to the word, his truth and his faithfulness are a shield and a buckler. No truth, no faithfulness from God's side, no shield and no buckler. That's right. Hallelujah. But I got to find the truth. You shall not be afraid of the terror of the night, yes, thank nor you. of the arrows and the evil plots and slanders of the wicked that fly by day. Thank you, Lord. And everybody knows you don't, you know, right now there is such a turning in North America that the, the cities are deemed uh, unsafe. In fact, this April, they're, bring, they're uh, alerting the military guard because of these blackouts. The sun going guard. Yes. The whole military is going to be on board. They know something's coming. Yes, they do. Hallelujah. And how good for you. In the darkness of darkness, you sit there in the secret place with uplifted hands, and those angels that are camped around about you will not let you down. They are ministering spirits sent by him. Yes, they are. Thank you, Hallelujah. Darkest of darkest. Thank you, God. Of darkest time. Thank you. I want you to read this at least ten times this week. Will you do that? Psalm 91. Yes. I hear one laugh and one yes. Okay, so I got two of you already. Yes. Do it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. All right, I'm going to skip right to verse 14. All of it is good. Not dashing your feet against the stone, all that kind of stuff. No evil shall befall you. And all that kind of stuff. That is so good. And we could just go over and over again how God wants us to be protected in these last days. 
But God has a, a response here, which lines up to all the other scriptures I gave you, whether it's First Thessalonians chapter 4, whether it's Isaiah chapter 40, verse 25. God now answers that. Why is he going to do this? How is he going to do that? I would say, how better why than why? How is he going to do uh, Romans chapter 8, verse 35? How? How will this be? How can two Christians be side by side and one's life is destroyed and the other one is not? How is that possible? Would you like to know? Okay. That we already alluded to it in, in uh, Romans chapter 8. Here's God's response to everything that he lists that he's going to do. Because, verse 14, he has set his love upon me. Yes. Therefore will I deliver him. Yes, and he does. Over. Because. Yeah. All right, so that's what's the reciprocal. Because he does not set his love upon me. He's got all these different things, all these different hobbies, all these different things as Romans, no, Hebrews chapter 12 says, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher. Yes. I can't deliver him. Yes. I cannot. I cannot. I will, so let's start that again. Because he said his love upon me, therefore can I deliver, will I deliver him? I will set him on high. Because he knows and understands my name. Yes. Praise God. He has a personal knowledge of my mercy. Loving kindness, trust relies on me and knows I will never forsake him. No, no never. never. Amen. Thank you. A personal, personal. A personal yes. knowledge of the goodness of God yes. leads what? The goodness of God leads to repentance which is the changing of your attitudes and minds to follow him. Uh, though nobody follow him, I will follow. We used to sing that song. Though none go with me, I will follow. I will follow. No, turning back. no turning back. Amen. I'll tell you what, I, I, when I read this here, what's happening, going to happen here in April, coming up. Praise God. I've increased the prayer for my children. Yes. My family. I've got family living in my house. I've gone uh, around the house or, or in the perimeter of the house and, and just spoke over it. Yes. This is my property. Yes. Uh, our property. No evil shall befall us or come near our dwelling. No. That's right. I, I, there's so many other things that I know are coming right now and this is the only thing I can do. And I'm going to get sure of his love. I'm going to get sure that I know the covenant that I have with him. I'm going to do what the Bible says. If you fulfill the royal law of love, you fulfill all the law and the prophets. Yes. I'm going to make sure that that door is sealed. Amen? Yes. It's, it's no different. Back the hatches down. You know, like a submarine diving. Back, you know, you don't want any leaks. That's right. You don't want anything. So I want to make sure that I know his love. I know he will never... That means I'm going to read some, uh, Romans chapter 8, verse 30. Five on. I'm going to read it over and over. I know, I know his mercy, his love, and his kindness. He, uh, this is God speaking. He knows my name. What if he doesn't? What if he doesn't know about God's mercy? What if he doesn't know about God's love? What if he doesn't know about God's kindness? What if he doesn't know and rely on God? Knowing I will never forsake him. What if he doesn't know that? I would say the majority of the body of Christ is in a, in a flux of, oh, I don't know, you know, I don't know if this is God or, you know, what, what's going on? Yeah. You gotta know, me. You gotta know. If he has a 45, that's your head. He's never gonna pull the trigger. Not even gonna get to that, but you gotta know him. You gotta know him. Yes. You gotta know him. Hallelujah. He shall call upon me, says God. Yes. I'm using a God voice. And I will answer him. Yes, I will be with him in trouble. Yes. I will deliver him. And honor him. And with long life. That tells me I'm not going to die in the trouble. That's right. With long life will I satisfy him. And show him my salvation. Amen. With long life. In the trouble. It's not saying... 
You know, when you're lying by the beach only, no, there's trouble coming. Yes. So these verses are for now. Yes, they are. We haven't had a lot of trouble, you know, 20, 30 years ago uh, that we could really measure. It just seemed like, like, like they, we keep saying and they keep saying, uh, it's, there's a new norm here. We're not going back. We've got to prepare the troops, which is you. Yes. This is not a cruise line or a cruise ship. This is a battleship. And we stand having done all to stand. Yeah. The Hallelujah. The army of the Lord. Yeah. Where we know how to pray. Based on knowing his love. Based on knowing all these good things. About God first. And when we know them. Then we will act accordingly. Yes. yes we and we will be more than conquerors. Through him that loves us. Praise God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Father. We thank you for your word today. Thank you Father God. Your word will be outlasting even the sky. Yes. Even in heaven and earth might pass away. Your word will remain forever. Yes, Lord. And so I thank you, Father thank God, you. that I get to share this this morning thank of you. how good you are Amen. and how wonderful the plan for all of our lives is. Yes. Yes. Yes, Lord. When we see all these things mounting and we see the warnings from the word of God, we trust in you. We trust you more than yes. anything. And only you. Thank you, Father God. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Mother. Thank you. Thank you that the eyes of our understanding are open. Yes. We are enlightened yes. to your truth. Yes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. This week, I will be a doer of your word. Yes. I will worship because of my heart's desire to be with you. Amen. I will Read the word as I build myself up on my most, most holy faith. I thank you for it, Lord. Thank you that I'm excited already for fellowshipping with you. Yes. Every day. Every day. Every day. All the time. Thank you, Jesus. If you've never made Jesus Christ the Lord of your life, I give you an opportunity here this morning. I never want to close the service. Um, in Romans 10, 9 and 10, the Bible says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. Yeah. Hallelujah. You Thank shall you. be saved. Praise God. This is the only decision that you need to make. It's huge. Yes, it is. And then, yes, of course, we will be baptized in that. So let's do that this morning. Let's follow the biblical pattern of calling on the name of the Lord to be saved. Save. Save means healing, safety, soundness, deliverance, and security. It means that you leave the kingdom of darkness and Jesus is then your Lord. Yes. So say this to me. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross. I believe you died for all of my sins. I confess you now as my Lord and personal Savior. I want you, my Lord. Hallelujah. I confess you with my mouth. I believe it with my heart. And according to your word, I am now born again. Now call us at 250-862-3044. We would love to send you material, pray with you, and see you riding on the high places of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. You got some exciting announcements for me? Okay. Okay, then let me finish with this. Say this with me. I am who God says I am. I have what God says I have. I can do what God says I can do. I've made the impression.